I'm Crystal, and I am an advocate for the fibromyalgia, chronic pain, and military veteran communities. And I live with several invisible disabilities, and I'm not ashamed of that. In honor of National Invisible Disabilities Awareness Week, I asked my friends and fellow advocates to share their perspectives living with invisible medical conditions, and I hope you find their story as inspiring as I did. I'm Heidi, and my invisible illness is PTSD. My name is Daniel G. Garza, and my invisible diagnosis are HIV, agoraphobia, and depression. My name is Candace, and I have a blood disorder called immune thrombocytopenia. I'm Simon, and I live with epilepsy, which is an invisible medical condition. My name is Dima. My invisible illnesses are sickle cell, anxiety, and depression. My name is Jenna Green, and my invisible diagnoses are multiple sclerosis, dystonia, degenerative disc disease, depression, and anxiety. I'm Hess, and I live with severe irritable bowel syndrome. My name is Tiffany, and I have the following invisible disabilities. Hyperacusis with pain, chronic migraines, seizures, legal blindness, and sensory processing disorder. My name is d I'm 35 years old. I live with a heart condition called transposition of the great arteries, AIDS, and I'm currently on my fifth pacemaker. Hi, I'm Tracy, and I live with invisible illnesses, rheumatoid arthritis, irritable bowel syndrome, and fibromyalgia. Hi, I'm Lindsay, and the invisible disability that I live with is narcolepsy, a sleep disorder that causes chronic fatigue, the inability to sleep, vivid dreams, and cataplexy. I am Emmett Henderson III, and I live with the invisible illness, systemic lupus. My name is Al Noblock, an Air Force veteran, and I live with the following disabilities, Gulf War illness, fibromyalgia, arthritis, IBS, and chronic pain. In the United States, population statistics show that 54 to 60 million people live with a disability. Just because I have an invisible disability doesn't mean that I don't have value or talent. I want to break down the stigma and shame that still persists in the Latino community so that we can help those with mental health issues not feel alone or broken. There is a large portion of America that's made up of people with invisible disabilities. The Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA also protects those of us with invisible disabilities. Epilepsy affects my life in a number of ways, from the tablets I have to take every day just to stop me falling over, to the transport choices I'm able to make, or the job I may be allowed to have. Then there's the darker side of epilepsy, 
the seizures and the injuries that I sustain through them. From bumps, bruises and lacerations through to more serious injuries, I now live with the scars. And it's not just me that my condition affects. My family, my loved ones, my wife, all deal with the trauma of dealing with my seizures and the constant worry of what might happen. There is a huge misconception within the healthcare community that people of color do not feel pain or are less likely to feel anxiety. And I'm a woman of color and I have a chronic illness, which sometimes bring about anxiety or depression. Um, therefore, there's some intersectionality that happens within my circumstance and my identity. And trying to convey to healthcare providers that my pain is real is probably the most difficult part of having this illness. While you typically wouldn't know it by looking at me, my immune system is actually attacking the coverings of my nerves and therefore multiple sclerosis is affecting every inch of my body every day, all the time. There is no known cure for multiple sclerosis, which has also caused my dystonia spasms that are in my feet and my degenerative disc disease adds to my chronic pain. Plus, I deal with mental health issues like the majority of people with chronic illness, including depression and anxiety. Unfortunately, I was living with an invisible disability for years before I even knew what I was actually suffering from. It wasn't until after five years of suffering and seeing several doctors that I was officially diagnosed with severe irritable bowel syndrome. IBS affects my ability to work, to be active at times, and my overall mental health. To this day, many people with IBS, including myself, have a hard time receiving disability benefits simply because doctors and other medical professionals don't deem this chronic illness serious enough. I truly wish that would change. My invisible disabilities make it so that I'm not able to participate or do a lot of things that teenagers my same age are able to do. I also have to work twice as hard at school and any extracurricular activities to keep up with my same age peers. You never know when life will bring you a debilitating illness. Once it does, you can let your illness keep you down, or you can choose to get up and fight. There is such a stigma with invisible disabilities that creates self-shame and feelings of being judged, both of which can prevent a person from effectively advocating for their own medical needs. Living with narcolepsy is often misunderstood. I don't just fall asleep. I battle both during the day and at night. You just don't see my battle because I'm often taking care of my health. Despite my visible illnesses, I'm still able to give back to my community over 600 meals a day, and I deliver meals to those that are in need. It is important to people to understand how invisible medical conditions impact a person's life, but that does not mean that people with invisible disabilities are not capable of positively contributing to society. Just living with invisible disabilities is challenging. But the biggest challenge is overcoming the societal stigma and people simply not understanding how debilitating invisible illness uh, can be. It's so hard trying to deal with that stigma. I'm a lesbian army veteran, and I matter. Mi nombre es Daniel G. Garza, hombre latino gay, con disabilidades invisibles, y yo valgo. I'm Candace. I'm a lawyer with an invisible disability, and I matter. I live with an invisible disability, and I matter. I am a woman with sickle cell and I matter. I'm Jenna. I live with invisible disabilities and I matter.
My name is Hess. I live with an invisible disability and my story matters. My name is Tiffany. I live with invisible disabilities and I matter. I'm d -Rec. I live with an invisible Ill disability and my story matters. I'm a mother. I'm a sister. I'm a friend. And I matter. I live with an invisible disability and I matter. I am a male living with lupus and I matter. People living with invisible disabilities, they matter. Our stories matter. Invisible disability awareness because it matters. Cause when